the bankers made their millions and millions of dollars, and I think it was they're on the on the verge of collapse, you know. Well, absolutely, right. So things are stable, relatively. Yeah, relatively stable. The so Zimplats are back in business, effectively. Well, they've always been. They've always, um, like I was saying, this. There's this. There's this African dance that you do. Um, it's like you read in the paper. There's this. The, the big issue now is what they call indigenization. Indig. <laughs> indigenization. Yeah. Okay. So some, the mining minister in Zimbabwe says every company in Zimbabwe has to have 51% indigenization. The, in terms of the businesses or the... Uh, Ownership. Okay, right. So what happens is the next day, oh, Zimplat says, you know what, this 51% indigenization, it's a, it's a threat to our business. You know what, we're, we're going to put our expansion on hold. We were going to spend... Five billion rand over the next two years. It's on hold. Uh, then the next day, the mining minister says, "Yeah, this indigenization doesn't actually apply to some plants." Right. You know. So it's this. So they pull back, and then like, okay. And then it's okay for another six months, and then somebody else comes along and says, "You know." Was the, the whole purpose of that is to to kind of keep the white ownership out or well, under it's control? The, it's to it's to give uh, uh, Zimbabwean black politicians the ability to take fifty one percent of a company. You know? They don't have enough money to own fifty one percent locally, so ultimately it'll start being 